everyone welcome back hope you are enjoying your new year i'm here with a diy recipe i'm here to teach you how i make my makeup remover i remember the last time uh, last year when i was doing my winter nighttime skincare routine and i had shown you guys a uh, makeup remover that i was using which was diy and a uh, few of you all wanted to know how i made it so here i am today i uh, have these supplies like around me throughout the year and probably you will have it with you as well so these are something which are very basic you will find it definitely 110% you probably have them in your fridge or in your kitchen counter right now I came to know about this makeup remover few years back and since then I have been hooked on to it like now sometimes I use the uh, Maybelline Total Clean and this to be very honest is the first makeup remover of my life I have never used any other makeup remover apart from this one and uh, this I bought just to clean my lashes uh, like my falsies and otherwise I randomly just make this like whenever I'm free this is the procedure is very simple as I told you all and the ingredients are very 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 basic you all will find me using some essential oil like today in today's tutorial I'm using tea tree oil but feel free to use whatever you want the essential oil part can be totally skipped like any oil of your choice so I went for tea tree oil I often go for tea tree oil because I have acne prone sensitive skin and that kind of checks on uh, to my oil balance also so without talking much let's get into the video so all you need for this tutorial is a clean spray bottle, good old coconut oil, some almond oil, some tea tree oil in this case, some rose water. So I'll be starting off by filling some rose water in the empty bottle and I'm using almost half cup of rose water. Next to this I'll be adding almost 3 big tablespoons of coconut oil, 1 big tablespoon of almond oil and lastly 10 to 15 drops of tea tree oil. And ultimately as you can see it will create a barrier now this barrier is very similar to what you see in the totally clean uh, makeup remover of Maybelline so what you do is you basically shake the bottle wherever you use it so I'll be showing you a quick demo on how this wonderful makeup remover works for me So guys that's how effective this makeup remover is like that's why I've been using it since I think 3-4 years now and it's just amazing I love the texture and I love the uh, the essential oils that I use in it it kind of heals my skin like the acne scars and all of those things now you could also add olive oil instead of almond oil or 50% almond oil 50% olive oil it's completely up to you it's just whatever suits you fine like uh, almond oil is very uh, good if you have a lot of scars I have few acne scars here and there so I look forward to using almond oil these days olive oil is excellent for dry skin people so if you have a skin which is extremely dry and parched you could probably go for olive oil coconut oil acts as a carrier oil so it's the most lightest oil and it kind of helps uh, getting the benefits of the other oils so if you were just to use uh, rose water and almond oil or rose water and just olive oil this would still work but it would not be as light as it feels right now so basically you're looking out for a makeup remover which doesn't feel very oily very greasy if you've used the Maybelline makeup remover you will understand the kind of texture that I'm talking about so I'm looking forward for you all to experiment with it and let me know whether this is a fail for you or whether this is a hit like in my case and I'll be waiting for all your comments I probably you find out your own recipe like I did and don't forget to like share and subscribe I'll see you all soon bye